in roster notation contains the values minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Okay, has cardinality 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, has cardinality 7. Uh, let's continue and let's see can we get any other, let's say, unusual sets, okay? Uh, let's say that we have something like this, okay? Uh, let's say that we have uh, a b. Let's say c is the set. Hmm. It's the set of ordered pairs, okay? So let's say it's a set of x's and y's, okay? Such that x and y are elements of the integers, okay? And we also have and let's say and okay. We also have that x and y, both of them here, are less than or equal to four, and are bigger than are bigger than one. Okay, so I'm just doing this notation here to mean that both of these have to meet this these two conditions here. Okay, so once again, let's do the integers. The integers. Okay, the values that could be in here, the x's and y's are integers. Uh, let's just say we have uh, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and so on and so forth. Okay, so they're integers. Any of these are any of these things could be in this set. Okay, but the thing about them is the x's need to be greater than 1. So the possible x's are these x's over here. Okay. Actually, uh, possible x's and y's are bigger than 1, so they're them things over here. And they can be less than or equal to 4. So that means they're less than or equal to 4, which means they must be less than 5. So actually what we end up with is we end up with something like this. Okay. So they're the possible candidates. Yeah. Okay? These things here are the x and y values. Okay? Okay? So, well, these are ordered pairs. And order pairs we get from a Cartesian product. And we've got another video that does that, okay? But let's try to construct the order pairs. So the x values, I have a video later on that will deal with this. My x's are going to be listed down here. My possible x values are down here, which is 2, 3, and 4. And my possible y values are listed across here, which are also 2, 3, and 4. And what we're going to do is we're going to pair the x up with the y, the x with the y, the x with the y, to create structures that look like this. So they have an open round brace, the x value goes in first, followed by the y value, okay? The x value, the y value, the x value, the y value, the x value, the y value, the x value, oh, the, the y value, the x value, the y value. We have the x value, the y value, we have 4 with 3. Okay, and we have four with four. Okay, so we take these and we put them into the set. So C is the set that contains the ordered pairs two, 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 three, two, four, okay, three, two, okay, three, 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 four, four, two, four, three, and it also contains the ordered pair four, four, and that's the set C as specified through this set builder notation. Okay. Let's see what else we can do. Let's do one final one, okay? Hmm. Let's keep it with this ordered pairs uh, scenario, okay? So let's keep this ordered pairs scenario going, okay? Uh, let's say, okay, something like, okay. Hmm. Let's think about this here. Okay, let's say D. D is the set of ordered pairs X, Y, okay? Such that, hmm, let's say that X, X and Y are elements of the natural numbers, okay? Let's say x and y, okay, are less than five and bigger than one, okay? okay? And let's say, and let's say, we only have the x divides, divides the y. So there, they're the only things that can go in, okay? So the possible candidates, first of all, are natural numbers. Well, our natural numbers, okay, are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and so on and so forth. But the condition about the x's and y's mean is that they must be bigger than 1. So they must be over here, okay? And the other condition is that they're less than 5, okay? So what we end up with is less than 5 are these things here. So these are my x's and my y's, yeah, okay? Must be in that set here. 
Okay, let's now let's we'll come back to this particular thing here, yeah. But let's let's do the cross product. Let's see what all of these things would look like without this condition. Okay, so what we'll do is we do our cross product. I'm gonna put my x's down here. My y's. My x's are two, three, and four. My y's are also two, three, and four. My ordered pairs are two, 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 three, two, four, three, two, three, 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 four. We have four, two. We have four, three, and we have four, four. Okay, they're the possible things that could be in here so far, but we've got another condition. And the other condition is the x value divides the y value. So the x's must divide the y's. Let's see. Okay, let's look at the ordered first order pair. Does 2 divide 2? When we talk about divides, we mean that it divides with 0 as a remainder. Yeah, 2 does divide 2. So actually, the set D contains the ordered pair 2, 2. What about? Does 2 divide 3? No, it doesn't. Okay, it goes in once with a remainder of 1, so it doesn't, it doesn't divide 3. Does 2 divide 4? It does, it goes in twice. So 2, 4 is in the set. Okay. What about 3, 2? No, 3 doesn't divide 2. What about 3, 3? 3, 3 does. 3 divides 3. Okay. What about 3, 4? No. What about 4, 2? No. Okay. 4, 3, no. 4 doesn't divide 3. Actually, 4 doesn't divide 2. 4 doesn't divide 3. What about 4, 4? Well, 4 does divide 4, so the other possibility here is that 4 divides 4. Okay, So what we now have is we've built the, in roster form, a set of ordered pairs. And the thing about these ordered pairs are they're all natural. Well, they're, the, the, I suppose, they're, they're, they're ordinates, yeah, okay? The x's and the y's are all natural numbers. The x's and the y's, okay, are bigger than 1 and less than 5. And also, the thing about them is the x divides into the y. That's true also. And this here is the set in roster notation. Okay, guys, uh, once again, my name was Jonathan Lambert, or it is Jonathan Lambert, uh, with the National College of Ireland. Uh, and this short video dealing with roster and set builder notation, okay, uh, another video uh, as part of my series of videos on set theory. Uh, I hope that this video uh, was some way intuitive, and more importantly, I hope it was helpful for you. And thank you for watching.